Hi, my name is Brandon, and this is the third uh, part in setting up Moodle. Today I'm going to be installing MySQL 5. I've extracted the setup, and now I'm going to run it. Okay, and on this one you just next through everything. Next, you want a typical setup. Okay, let's do the install. Okay, you'll get uh, advertisements for the MySQL Enterprise Paid Edition. Uh, next, next. Be sure that you have uh, this configure the SQL Server now checked. Click Finish. Okay. Let's do Next. We want a detailed configuration. We want Server Machine. We want transactional database only. You can leave everything here um, as the defaults. We want the online transaction processing. Leave everything here uh, the defaults except enable strict mode. Uncheck that. Um, and you can leave standard checked if you want English. Be sure that launch the MySQL server automatically is checked and we do want to install as a Windows service. The root password, just enter in a password and uh, you'll need to remember this later uh, when we set up Moodle. Okay, next. Now click Execute. Okay, and it did that successfully. So now what we want to do is the following. We will need to run these commands in, able, in order to create our Moodle database and our Moodle users. So you can come to Start, Programs, MySQL, and go to the command line client and you'll enter your root password you just entered in the setup okay and now we need to create our Moodle database and then you need to type a semicolon and enter and it will execute that line okay if it says okay you're good <laughs> okay now we need to grant privileges we want to grant pri privileges on Moodle and the dot asterisk is to all tables in Moodle and we want to grant these privileges to Moodle user at local host which is the machine that you're setting everything up on and identified And identified by it's going to be your the password that you want for that user. 
and you want to start with an apostrophe end with an apostrophe and a semicolon and I made a typo here and as you can see uh, everything was okay so now one more line here Okay, now we need to do the flush, flush privileges command. Okay, and then we can quit. Okay, and now MySQL is set up. And by the way, uh, you can download MySQL at MySQL.com. Click on Downloads. And as you can see, there are two columns here. We want the one on the left. It's free. And just click Download. And uh, download the zip file, extract the setup, and follow the, the uh, directions that I just gave.